As always, this is a 100% cotton t-shirt that's been soaked in soda ash for at least 20 minutes and then spun out in the washing machine until it's just damp. This one is already flipped inside out. I'm going to pull this up because I'm going to start on the bottom. I don't normally mark off where things need to be completely across the shirt, but this time I'm going to need to for this. So you could go in just the corner, you could go straight across, you can do whatever. Let's go like that. Go a little bit further, just in case. I'm probably going to stick with that first one though. All right. I'm going to switch to a blue. I just didn't want it to be the same all the way across because that wouldn't be as natural as you would expect to see. And we'll do one up here. There's probably going to be more separation throughout, but that's a good start to it. And I'm just going to start from one side and accordion my way up. I think I'm going to go with this one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use the sinew on this. And while I like to fold from that, the right side, I like to do the sinew from this side. So, whoa, that slipped all the way through. Let's go ahead and try that again. Now I'm going to go ahead and fold this. This is the word. All right. Or you don't have to worry about precision on. So if you're off a little, it's all good. So I'm going to work the rest of these all the way up, and then I'm going to come back and add any extra that I think I need to have in here. So I'm going to come back in. I'm not really concerned about wrinkles. Just going to kind of bunch that up and do it at the spacing that I think is good. Let's see. I'm probably going to come in with two in between some of these and maybe one in between others. I'm not really sure. We'll see what happens. There we go. I'm not going to tie this part. I'm going to go ahead and scrunch this part. In. And then this one. Okay, I know that sounded like boredom, but I apparently have not been breathing enough while doing this. All right, so I'm going to scrunch this up. Um, I am going to go ahead and mark it anyway. I'm just going to do a little brown here. So I'm going to do blue up to like there, give or take. Do the violet here, just so I can see the difference. All right, off to die. Oh wait, 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 wait. Not quite. I'm going to do something different that I almost never do. I'm letting this dry. I'm actually going to accelerate it in a dehydrator. Off to dry. All right, it is dry. And the colors are going to be golden brown, amber waves, chamois, sea glass, Cayman Isle green, robin's egg blue, brilliant blue, blue bird, Cerulean blue, 
Bright Azure, and this one's from Grateful Dyes. And maybe some Deep Space, not sure, but everything but the Azure is from Dharma. So, I'm going to coil this up a little bit, put some crushed ice on it, and then we'll get to dyeing. We'll let that sit and melt through, take a look at it, see if we need some more ice or what to do. All right, so it's melted through and I have an interesting situation here. So we've got this on this side and then this side is like a bright color and it kind of needs to be a combination of that. So I think what I'm going to do is flip this. I probably shouldn't have touched that. We're going to soda ash this, um, ice first here, add a little dye to pick up that white, and then soda ash the whole thing, ice it, and then maybe do just a little bit of color to help drive a little bit more through the other direction, back to the front. We'll see how this works out. Alrighty, let that melt through, see what happens. Alright, it has been probably 36 hours, so let's go ahead and wash this off. Alrighty, here's the front, here's the back. I am very happy with the results of this. I love these little things here where it's like a, there was a wrinkle in here and it looks like surf actually coming in. There's not consistency. I mean, there, there's a, some consistency for the waves and surf, um, but then there also isn't. So I like it. I think this looks good. I actually pulled it out of the washer this morning and my 15 year old looked at it and went, hey, that's a beach. You know, how? Come on, that's awesome. All right, so his suggestion was a larger beach and like coming up higher maybe, um, which oddly enough would have been where that first line was so that you could see more of a beach. So I think I'm going to do a few of these and go ahead and put them all out on Etsy. If you like what you see, definitely visit Etsy and I'll try to have a few out there. Um, I, I like this extra, it, it's like I have, yeah you can see it on here, it's like I have the sand and it, it's fading here and then there's like sandbars out here too, like low tide or something. That is so cool! I like this! So this has actually been on my list for I don't know how long, well over a year. Um, somebody had asked for it and I finally did it. Very happy with the results. I didn't want to do it before, wasn't in the right mood. And summer's coming up so we got the whole beach thing going on. Or I, I like it. What are your thoughts? Let me know down below. And until next time, thanks for watching.